Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. All right, it's almost five o'clock on Friday. Without going into the boring details, I spent pretty much the entire day inside my office doing day job shit. So I needed to get out. I just went to three ships, took some bean over to my wife at the library, even though she's almost done, and told her that I would not be home when she got home because I needed to get into the woods. So I thought, I haven't been here in a while, so I came to the woods behind the rec center. Great Neck Park. It's very still and kind of quiet there. I mean, there's kids over in the playground a little bit, but not too many. But I just needed to get outside and, and sort of walk around because I have literally been sitting at my desk all day. Wah! Freaking working for a living. So I had a lot of time where I was waiting for people to call me back. So I used that time to sort of reconfigure a couple of my setups. N nothing crazy just had to make them a little bit more monkey friendly. So for instance, the A7C, and I know I've mentioned this before, but it bothers me when I don't have a cage on the camera because there needs to be a cage on the camera. And it was just a, a little bit inconvenient the way that I had that wrist strap connected on there because that's all I could have on there. I couldn't put a neck strap on if I wanted to. And sometimes that wrist strap, it's inconvenient because then it's just dangling from my hand, but I need it out of the way when I know I'm not gonna be using the camera, but I need to carry it, especially when I'm carrying all that crap in when I'm checking into a hotel or whatever. So I put the cage back on and then I had to find a way that I could get all of the little attachment points on there for either a strap or that wrist strap. So what I ended up doing is I sort of jury-rigged something together in a way. I ended up having a little bit more of that, like, cord, whatever. I don't even know what you call it. And I took it and looped it through the portion on the cage where you usually slide something through for a strap. But I used the cord to make something so that I could attach the wrist strap quick release to it and I wanted to do it right. So I ended up cutting it, burning the ends so it didn't unravel. And then I folded it in on itself and actually sewed it to the cage. I don't mind having that strap permanently, or not the strap, but the quick release side. I don't mind having that permanently attached to the cage, but it was a pain in the ass having it attached to the little hooky thing that went to the point where you can attach a strap directly on the camera. That was where I ran into problems. So I sewed it on there because I didn't want it to come off. I didn't want to use like one of those little plastic retainer things either because those can slide off as well. This way, that stuff, I've, I mean, I've never had any of that shit like fray or break, knock on wood. This way, if I sew it, I know it's not going anywhere. It's not coming loose. So while I was waiting for some calls, I ended up going through figuring that whole thing out, sewing it on, testing it, good to go, and then hooked everything else back up. So now the A7C is, it's just in a cage. That's th the only difference. It also makes it a little bit more convenient to be able to put back on the Mantis pod if I wanna use it for filming. Now, the only thing that I did with the ZV-1 is that I was trying to find a way that I could mount the Rode Wireless Go receiver to it. And I thought, oh, I'm brilliant because I had a, uh, like a, a cold shoe mount, a small rig cold shoe mount that could be screwed into any of their cages with those quarter 20 holes. And I was like, oh, well, there's, there's one here on this side. I'll put it on there, it's gonna be perfect. And then the first time I tried to use the camera, I realized, you freaking idiot. That's where the screen is. So now I can't open the screen and I couldn't see it. So I'm like, okay, dumbass. Need to change that. So I took it off that side and I put it on the other side. Now the whole reason I didn't put it on that side is because it was making it very difficult to plug the cable in that I'm using to power it off this Yulonzi power grip. So now I'm like, okay, how can I do this? All right. So I figured it out. I mounted that cold shoe 
mount to the lowest hole on the cage. And then I had to reconfigure how I have this cable or this wire, power wire cable, hooked and wrapped around the top of the power grip. Without getting into the particulars of that, eventually I figured it out and I got it on there. So now I have enough room for the cable to be able to be plugged in to the camera, or if I unplug it, it'll stay on the grip and won't fall off. Good to go there. And obviously I'm using the Rode Wireless Go again, which I haven't been using for a long time and I decided I want to start using it again. And I also put the wide angle lens, the Zomai wide angle lens back onto the front of the ZV-1 because it was getting kind of painfully obvious that if I want to walk and vlog like this, that there was no way that I was going to have enough of me in the screen. And I also had to hold it like way the hell out in order to make that happen. And that wasn't very comfortable. So all is better now. I think I have those two setups back to where they need to be. And, and of course, everything is always an experiment. Anytime I try something new, it's just to see if, it, if it's any better. And if it isn't, I'll figure something else out. So right now, here we are. Okay, what else? The hub that I backed on Kickstarter, apparently they've sent out like 800 of them. I, I guess they said like on the 19th. I didn't get a tracking number, so they said, you know, if you didn't get it on that batch, you know, we've got another batch going out, we've got a bunch of them going out, you'll get a tracking number and you'll get that. So, with any good fortune, I should have that hub, I'm, I'm going to say by the end of July. When that comes in, then I'll buy the memory stick that I can plug on the inside, and I'll probably just keep it at a gig, because I don't need to be spending a ridiculous amount of money to get an 8 gig chip to put in there, then that'll make it even easier to do the editing on the iPad when I'm on the road. I continue to cut off services and things, websites, whatever, that I was paying for that I just don't need. And every time, because most of the time I have all that stuff in my Google Calendar of when it's due, so now I'm looking ahead to make sure that things aren't auto renewed because I hate auto renew, but sometimes you just don't catch it when it does it until after the fact. And then trying to get your money back is just pointless. So I have gone through and canceled even more things now that I'm not using or that are a waste of money and that I don't need to use. All trying to, you know, pay shit off and buy my freedom back, so to speak. I got everything done today. I actually got my boss on the phone and I had a written list of shit that I needed to, to talk to him about because I always forget stuff until after I'm off the phone with him. So we went down the list, took care of everything, made all my calls that I needed to make, sent the emails that needed to be sent, did everything that needed to be done. So that means that for the rest of today, tomorrow, and all of Sunday, until I do my office day, Sunday stuff, I'm not doing shit for day job. And I'm going to enjoy myself. Now I'm thrilled, and you can hear the cicadas singing, because they're thrilled too, that it is so nice out. Like, if I stop right here, like those trees really aren't moving at all. There's almost no breeze, but there doesn't need to be, because it isn't gross, hot, and humid. Hoping that continues, hoping it's like that tomorrow, because then I'd like to get back out into the woods and go see my bird friends or whatever else I may find. Now I just have to decide if I want to go back to Pleasure House Point or if I want to haul my ass down to Back Bay since I haven't been there since the one and only time I went. All depends on the weather and see what's going on. So that's that. All right. That's all you get for today. I just wanted to talk about how I'm excited that I got all my day job shit done. And while I was waiting around to get that done, I got some configuration stuff done on my gear and we're just plugging right along. So that's it. That's all I wanted to say. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, 
forward and up.